Yo, what's up guys, it's Bass Clash here. Today we're going to do part 2 of a previous YouTube video of the Grand Challenge. I'm currently 6'2", and we're just going to use Classic Log Bay here with the front Tower, really nice. Hopefully we can um, get some wins. If not, this video is probably going to be really short. Regardless, I'm going to post this anyways because you can't really post um, the first half of something without posting the second half. And right now this is going to be the second half, though. so whatever happens just happens. Okay, he's gonna go with the prince. Got Goblin Gang ready here, guys. Go to Goblin Gang, just in case he arrows or logs. You have a lot knight, just in case. All right. Cycle of princess in the back here. Okay, he's just going for minor. Let's go for a knight. Looks like he's playing. Yep. Looks like he's playing a double prince giant. So I want to force out another response here. Saying the ball played, all right. Let's go with the nice spirit. And let's go with the princess to help kill that dark prince faster. And try onto the mega minion. Let's see what our opponent's going to do, guys. I'm just going to knight in the back here. Nothing special. Going for the Goblin Gang here. Let's go over the Prince. All right, I'm gonna log this Prince. About now. So my knight can help kill it faster. The Ice Spirit here. All right, let's go with the Princess. Okay, he's not letting me do that. So we had to sacrifice a knight here. So far, he's actually playing us pretty well. Um, he's not giant. He's not playing his giant, um, throwing single elixir, which is not going to help him at all. Yeah, I want to use my ice spirit for his um, mega mean right here. I'm going for goblin gang. I'm going for a knight now for electro wizard and see what he's going to do. He's going to giant, so I'm going to pressure the gombrel here. Force out maybe a prince in the front or something. Uh, I'm actually not gonna go in front. Of I'm gonna get. I'm trying to get some rocket value here, guys. Yep. Actually, what is really unfortunate for him is that. Okay, let's see here. I think we were able to defend this. We we were, we took some damage, but. Let's see, let's reset here, guys. He's going to go in for a giant. He's going for an Inferno Tower. He's going for a Knight. He's going for a Gombrel here to pressure. All right, you managed to defend that. That was really nice. Let's go for a Goblin Gang low and a Knight high. I think we could go for a defensive Goblin Brawl just in case here. And it should be a GG. Just have enough flexor for a rocket here, guys. And nice swim. A strategy, if you're struggling against giant double prince decks, like these with the minor and the classic version, the Zap Fireball, Electro Wizard, Mega Minion, you just want to use your rocket on defense, log the dark, log the dark prince shield off, and you can rocket their defense and it's easy to defend. Right, you made it past round one, one match, so it's gonna be some content at least. On to the next match, guys. We go for Princess in the back here. Opponent's gonna go for a fireball, all right. We're gonna log his right tower here. Going for an ice spirit. He's going for an ice golem, so I'm gonna pressure here with the goblin gang, force out something maybe. As we got a magic archer. Interesting deck. He's going to go over the bandit. He's going for a knight here. Kind of played it too uh, early. The bandit charged. Okay. Let's go for a nice spirit like this. Okay, he's just going to go in with the ram rider. Let's go for a high inferno tower here. Not giving him any like fireball value or anything like that. 
So it's like we're going against a Ram Rider cycle, so we gotta be really careful here. It's gonna be really hard for us to break through because he has two small spells. Or maybe not. It's gonna be hard because he probably has a Bar Barrel instead of a... Usually he has Bar Barrel, so... Probably not gonna get any damage with Gone Barrel. Let's see what he's gonna do, guys. Let's go for Gone Barrel anyways. Alright, he's a good player, I guess. Did not fall for that. Hmm. Let's go for Princess in the back here. Maybe force out a fireball so he doesn't go all in on deep on offense. Yep. Again, I played my knight too early. That's that's unfortunate. Let's see if we can outcycle him here, guys. Nice, we do. And he spent a ton of licks for trying to defend that. Let's go for a Goblin Gang. He's just going for aggressive magic archer. I don't I disagree with that move. Okay, that was a really bad. That was unfortunate. Our princess kind of died in that process. Oh, and this deck actually cycles pretty fast. Let's go for a gone barrel again, guys. So I should go for a high knight this time. Pulling everything in. Nice. The, our princess survives. We got some damage there. We kind of outcycled him there. He's going for a gum game. See, so he goes with a nice golem. All right. All we have to do is worry about his um, magic archer, but he's going to play it. You can go for Inferno Tower like this, guys. Should be a no problem counter. He's going for a lumberjack in the back. Let's go for a princess in the back here, guys. An Inferno Tower should get value. Let's just cycle a log here. Nice, he played his match archer into it. I should go for a knight in a nice spirit here, killing that bandit. Really nice. Let's bait on our fireball here. It looks like he's going in for a push. Let's see if we can outcycle cycle him here, guys. Oh, it looks like we gotta go for a late inferno tower. Well, we actually caught that bandit. And we only got one bandit hit on our tower. Alright, we gotta be careful here. Let's go in for a Ram Rider. So let's just go for an Inferno Tower like this. For a Knight. Okay, guys. It's fine, you just need to cycle logs. Be careful. He's gonna go to Bandit. I saw that a mile away. Let's go for a nice spirit here. Let's go for a high knight. And let's go for Raga here, guys. Well, that, band, uh, that Ram Rider does not hit our tower. It's really nice. Right, 30 seconds left in the match here. Opponent's playing pretty well so far. If we're going to tower this. Nice, hits the magic archer. That's what I was looking for, guys. Nice, goblins get a stab as well. Okay, he's going for Ram Rider. Not messing around, just going for a nice rock here. Not giving him any magic art archer value. High Inferno Tower. Three, two, one. And that's a good game there. Nice, we're going to end up on one win and one loss. Looks like we're at two wins. We're at, we should be at eight wins right now. Not bad. It's on to our next match, guys. That was really nice. Um, again, going against Bishmam. Ram Rider, you gotta be really careful going about that matchup because if they outcycle you and you don't have anything to stop Ram Rider, it's pretty game over. So you really want to save your Inferno Tower or Rocket in your hand at all times. You don't want to like rocket something behind. If they play like Lumberjack in the back or Bandit in the back, you don't want to rocket that because you're going to be down in the elixir and you're just going to take advantage of that. And which, what Bridge Bam does is 
you just spam a lot of licks and you don't have much to defend and you just end up losing. So you just want to play play patient and defensive against a British Man deck. Right. Next match here against Joey. Give him the good luck. Let's go to Princess. Let's see what he's going to do. He's going with the poison, so might be using Graveyard or Bridge Ram. Cycle Lock here, guys. Yeah, I'm actually gonna go in for Goblin Gang here to chip down that Goblin Cage. He's got Poison, uh, Electro with, um, hmm. An East Spirit. Interesting deck. Okay, he has Rohogs. Hopefully he doesn't have another spell that'll be really annoying. Another big spell, I mean, like Fireball. That'll be tough. Um, hmm. It's going to zap these, okay. It's Princess off slain here. Split up damage if he decides to poison. And it's a negative elixir trade for him. Okay, he decides to poison. Go for a Gombrel here, guys. Um, see, so he has Barbara. He misses one of the goblins. Really nice. Cycle on Night Spirit. It's going to Royal Recruits. So, Cycle on Night in the back here, guys. Hmm. Cycle on Princess this lane. And let's log this lane, of course. He's going in for a Flying Machine. All right. Let's go for a Goblin Gang here. And we got a Night Spirit for that Flying Machine when it crosses. Nice. Gets one hit, but that's okay. He's going for a Gone Barrel here to pressure here once again, guys. I really want to log that, but at the same time, I don't want to. Okay, goes with the Poison. Let's go for Gone Bang here. Okay, goes with the Recruits. Just log this side of Recruits once again, guys. Let's go for Night on Defense. Let's go to the Princess and see what he's going to do. Now he's going to go with um, Rohog, so let's go with um, Gom Gang, Ice Spirit, plus a log here, guys. Wow, the Princess, he actually missed his uh, poison there. Let's go with the Aggressive Princess. Nice. He's probably going to go with an Electro Spirit soon. Yep. He, he saw a Barbaro, so well played to him. Right, he's going to get one hit from the Flying Machine. Let's go to our Princess here. Give up the pressure. He did not have um, his Barbarella in cycle, which is good for us. He's going to recruit once again, guys. Let's go for a log here. Logging this side because we need damage on his tower here. Let's go to Princess Ops Lane. Let's see, he's going to Barbarell down the middle. I disagree with that move. We can go for an Inferno Tower like this, guys. Log everything back. Let's go for a Knight just in case. Alright, we did take some damage. We'll play to him. All right, looks like he mistimed that, and we can go for a rocket and a log here. That was unfortunate sequence for him. He actually went for a flying machine and then a goblin cage after, so I'm assuming he didn't have enough elixir when we played our goblin barrel, and goblin's able to connect to his tower. Nice win there. Um, we're actually 3 no so far. There's three more wins, guys. Hope you can do this in this video. That'd be awesome. Right, we've got log in our hand. We're gonna play it here. Opponent's gonna go with the barbell. We're just gonna go for a nice spin return here. Princess in the back here. Okay, it's got Mega Minion, so hmm. 
Could be a beatdown deck of some sort of golem or electro giant. Yep, looks like it. So we gotta watch out here, guys. I'm gonna bait something out here. But knight. That's actually a bad log. Um, okay, we end up taking two hits from that. Okay, guys, we gotta go for a golem gang there. Okay, we take we force out a baby dragon. I'm actually gonna ignore. It. I'm not gonna play my knight because our tower here is low and. It's okay if you take damage on a left lane because you can even up the damage. And you probably have Tornado for sure. Skogon Barrel like this. Yep, you tried Tornado but did not work. Let's go for a Law here. Cycle a Nice Spirit. Cycle Princess in the back just in case he tried to predict our Princess there like what she did. Try to at least there the mega minion. Let's go with the Gom Gang like this, guys. And once again, I'm gonna force something out with my knight here. Yeah, that was a really bad knight, the princess. Okay, let's go for a nice spirit here. Nice. Okay. Okay, since this Barbarell's out of cycle, I think we can pressure him here, guys. He still has to defend this with something, a baby dragon or NATO or elite barbs or something. Wait, he's probably gonna get three crowned here. Set up an inferno tower like this. We're just gonna kill that lumberjack, easy. Let's go for a knight, last second here. Nice. Go for a um, Gom Gang like this. It's going with E Barbs, it's actually perfect. So if you can get for Rocket here, uh, I think we're gonna miss one. But that's fine, we can go for a Knight. And we can go for a Gom Gang here. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. As you got close to Gold Might, um, exploded and actually knocked back the elite barbarians so my rocket tying was a little off there and we kind of missed one it got a little bit closer but didn't really matter we were able to hold off and we didn't really overcommit on offense because we need we just had enough like sort of defend that last bit at the end there with the baby dragon push we're great guys so that was the four wins so far really was probably a i call it i'll call it a success because there's actually some content and there's a part two of the grand challenge, but hey guys, we actually we can pull through. We can come back from six two. We can come come back for for twelve two, but looks like the grand challenge is gonna take a while. If you guys are new, please leave a like down below or ask ask any. Feel free to leave a comment down in the comments down below. If you need any tips or are wondering um, any new strategies you want to learn. All right, we're in our next match here. Got Princess in our hand. Put in the back here, guys. Um, let's see what he's going to do, what opponent has. Okay, he's going to go with the Baby Dragon, so... Just want to knight in the back here. Don't want to do anything else. Don't want to overcommit. Interesting as Pekka and Baby Dragon probably has a hmm interesting deck. There's a really high chance that he's running the Anaban Balloon Freeze, Pekka Balloon Freeze, Zap. He zaps out of cycle. You can go for an Inferno Tower like this. Slumber Jack, he might have it. If he freezes, yep, we had to go for a Gom Gang. Puzzle Log here, guys, to kill that Lumberjack. Okay, he's so gonna go with aggressive. Um, wow. That tornado actually worked for him. He forced out some elixir from me. And you gotta watch out for his balloon. Okay, he goes with the balloon. The in front of tower here should be fine. He goes for the zap. He can go for a nice spirit. Nope. Okay.
I just got seems to know what he's doing. We gotta watch out here. <clears throat> as long as they play perfect defense and not overcommit, should be fine. Let's go for Princess in the back. He's gonna baby dragon, okay. Just cycle a nice spirit for that ice wizard, no problem. Go for a gumbra like this. For a knight like this, guys. If it does freeze, I'll go for a Gom Gang. Let's go for a log. Princess in the back, okay. Let's go for Ice Spirit and a Gom Brow here, guys. Since he went for a P.E.K.K.A. Let's go for Inferno Tower like this. And let's see what our opponent's going to do. Wait for a freeze to come down, maybe? Nope. We're actually going to rocket this. Nice. Rocket pushes the balloon opposite lane. This is, since he spent a lot of extra with the freeze, and go for a princess and a gombrel here to pressure here. Well, we actually got the king tower activation. I wasn't expecting that, but... All right, let's go for a gom gang here. Create some counter pressure. Um, okay, so let's go with the P.E.K.K.A. Let's go for Inferno Tower like this, guys. Let's see what he's going to do. He's going for a Lumberjack. Interesting move. And Balloon. Sides so freeze out. We'll just go for a Rocket anyways here. Nice, excellent Rocket. Ice Spirit pulls P.E.K.K.A. back, plus the Log. And that should be a dead P.E.K.K.A. Nice. I'm not going to go for a Gombrow because he might just Baby Dragon and build a big push. Let's go for a knight. Uh, let's go for Inferno Tower like this, guys. Let's go for a Gombrel here. Okay, so let's switch opposite lane. Let's go for a princess since we have an Inferno Tower still up. Ice Wizard's going to go down. And that was a bad Lumberjack in my opinion because it served no purpose there. You cycle back to our rocket here. Okay, we're fine now. Um, I use it for the other. Got some chip damage. That was nice. Okay, so let's go with a balloon. Let's go for a rocket here, guys. Let's go for a Gom Gang. Okay, looks like he's going to try to use all his spells here, so let's go for the Gombra to pressure. Log Ice Spirit. Princess in the back here. Split a Goblin Gang. Okay, he's going for a Balloon. Lumberjack push. So we can just go for a Rock here, guys. Okay, let's just go in now because he just wasted a really bad Tornado. He has to use a Freeze. Zap. And it's not looking good for him here. And that's a good game. All right, we're 11 to 2, it looks like. Right guys, we're eleven and two. One more, one more win, and we have second half of the um, video completed, and we get some mini kid here. Trusting name, give him the good luck. Let's go for Gombrel Ice Spirit. Okay, it's going for a miner, and you barbarians, guys. It's possibly a mortar deck. Who knows? And I don't really go for Rocket right now because those E-Barbs are really spaced out. And that looks like a bad Mortar placement, a misplaced Mortar by our opponent here. And that would have been really bad if he actually got that timing right because we'd be in a lot of trouble. We'd have been in a lot of trouble. Because Inferno Tower is not a really great counter to Mortar, believe it or not, because you're just wasting one Elixir and it's easily to... It's easily to uh, block the Inferno Tower. So it's going to be a really tough matchup here, guys. For sure. Just cycle a nice spirit. If you go to the more, I can just go for a rocket. Go for a Gom Gang here. And let's see. Okay. He's going for Ice Golem. Let's go for a Princess in the back. He's going to split E-Barbs. Interesting move. Okay, that knight did not pull that elite barbarian. OK, 
Okay, take damage from both sides, it's fine. Um, it's going for Fireball. Cycle a lot here, guys. Um, he's probably going to go for Ice Golem in the middle, so I've got to be careful. Skeleton, so let's go for Princess. Let's go for a knight in the back here. Let's go for Gone Bro. I'm not sure if he has a log or not, but let's see. Yeah, he does. Okay, let's go for a rocket here, guys. All right, looks like he's going to go ear barbs here, so let's go for an ice spirit. Okay, since he fireballed our goblins, we had to go for a knight. Hmm, Scott's playing pretty well so far. Props him. Let's go for a Gombra out of pressure. All right, it's gonna go for a log. And a mortar. And that's a really bad mortar. Okay, he's messing up his mortar placements, which is really great for us, to be honest. No, oh, Musketeer is gonna die. Nice. Okay. All right, guys, we're looking solid so far. Cycle log. Let's go for Gombra like this. Race one of you barbarians. Okay, got a lot of damage. That's really scary. Let's go for a Gomb Barrel. You had the fireball on offense there. All right, guys, it's getting really close. Let's go for Inferno Tower. Okay, didn't block it. Let's go for a Gone Barrel here. Okay, that was a really nice fireball there. But I'll see if we can get him here, guys, with the um, Juke Barrel and High Princess. All right, those Fireball Miners are really annoying. Try to outcycle him here, guys. Um, I think that was a good game. Yeah, that was a really close game there. GG's. Got the minor fireball cycle going on. And I couldn't really break through. Played defense at the end. And a good game to him. If I if I could have won that game, it would have been actually my third grand challenge ever won. Anyways, I'm glad. And if the 11-3, I thought we were going to do worse. Well, let's open this chest, guys. We've got a lot of gold. Recommend you guys to do grand challenges so you, so you have your gems up. It's the best way to spend your gems for free to play because you're gonna get so much gold and a lot of cards, guys. Ice Spirit, nice. We're getting so many star points here, really nice. You don't get a legendary, but we get nine clones. I just take that. Not too bad. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's pretty, really long, and we almost won a grand challenge. See you guys later. Bye, guys.